So we all know the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And this morning in our Espresso Kitchen, we're going to help you get your apple in for the day with the, uh, Chef Moira. She's here to share a lovely little twist on a nice apple recipe. And I hear there's a bit of an apple crumble milkshake involved as well. Oh, today is mm. all about apple explosion. You know what? I'm glad. <laughs> you know, because you don't necessarily need to get the apple as it is in per day. You can do no. something fun with it. And also, there's so many different apples out there, the fresh apples. Yes, it's great to use fresh apples to eat and a crunchy apple to bite, you know, bite into. But when it comes to cooking, you've got to be careful of what type of apple you use. Okay. Um, and so that's why I, I love the pie apples, the, the pie apples, because it's a really good quality. It's based on your green apple. It's nice and crunchy still, lovely colour, and it works so well in all types of applications, sweet and savoury. All right. Um, and today, and also reduces the cooking time. So you don't have to poach yeah. them, you don't have to you know, bake them, you don't have to soften them. It's They're taken really, care of. It's really taken care of. Brilliant. What are we All making, right. by the way? So we're making them a ravioli, and a nice cinnamon spiced with a bit of mascarpone cheese, and you serve it with a lovely caramel sauce. Oh, it's gonna um, be but the apple works really well. So let's let's get going, and then okay. we'll talk while, <clears throat> while while we go through it. So I'm going to add the, the apples in there. You're going to add in some brown and some white sugar. The brown sugar caramelizes really nicely and it adds a, lo a lot of fla extra oh, flavor yes. into it. Um, and then we're going to add some spice, obviously some cinnamon and um, some mixed spice. And then what I like to do is to, to bring out the flavors of the, of the mixed spice in the apples is to add a bit of a squeeze of lemon to it. Oh, really? Because we're serving this with caramel sauce, the balance of the acidity in it will actually help um, just balance the whole dessert out yes. and you won't be left with a sickly th sweet feeling. <laughs> oh, you know? there we go, exactly. Okay. All right, so we basically just bring that to, um, to the boil so that the spices start to, um, yeah. taking out all the flavours into the apples. And then we're going to add in some mascarpone cheese and some fresh mint. Um, oh, look at that. Absolutely lovely. delicious. So this here, you, you will just kind of, you can really see it starts melt. Correct. Uh, it starts to melt over there. And then basically, it, it'll probably thin out a bit, and then you'll, you'll just reduce it till it's nice and thick. Okay. Okay, and then we'll add the fresh mint into it to give it colour mm -hmm. and to add in that extra bit oh, of flavour. Oh, wow. And it's really lovely for summer. It's a really lovely summer pudding. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, All cool. Right. So, so let's leave this guy. Yeah. So I've got some work for you to do. Oh, good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you could put me to work. All right, so he has the mixture ready, ready done. It's been reduced, it's cooled. You don't want to put hot mixture into the ravioli. No, because otherwise oh. you're going to start cooking it. Correct. You don't want to, okay. All right, so I'm going to do one and then we're going to let you go and then I'm going to go into the milkshake. I make right. a really delicious milkshake, taking a dessert into a milkshake. So oh, your man. apple crumble into a lovely milkshake. All right, so you would take an egg, egg mixture and then you would just yeah, brush obviously it. brush it. Okay. okay this is to, to stick it, it's like the glue. Yes. You can do an egg and milk mixture. Okay. All right. All right, and then, so we'll leave that there for you. Then we put a spoonful in the middle. And then we take another one and we put it over the top. All right. Now, so you've got to be careful that you get out all, as much air bubbles as possible. Okay. So you just, you just push it down as much as you can, and then you take a fork yeah. and you push it and you seal it. All right. All right. I'm sure I can manage something like that. And then we're going to fry one. So I'll show you and then you, we... <laughs> I'll continue. You can continue. All right. All right, so it's fine if it oozes out the size it's a little bit. It's fine if it oozes out a little bit. Just clean it out like that. All right. And you can see all the bubbles okay. are gone. So we got our oil here. It's a, where, where's it standing? Just below 160 at the moment. Right, you want to be at about 180. Okay, cool. Um, the reason being is because it goes quickly. You don't want to uh, yes. um, cook it at a low temperature because it will absorb oil. That's it. All Perfect. Right. But I've got to put the heat up for us nicely. Okay. All right, let's just get this guy out of here. Right. All right, shall we? Let's just put it in. There we go, and you can see it starts to bring out the oil. People must be careful using oil at home. Yeah. All right, it's Basically, very dangerous. you don't want to throw it in. You don't there. want to throw it in, and you don't want to be any water or anything like that because it'll splatter. Yes. All, All right, right, so cool. while that's cooking, you watch I'll that keep an for eye me. On that for you. When it starts browning, light brown, we're going to take it out, and then we can do some more. Brilliant. All right. All right. All right, so here, if I can have my apples back. You can please. have your apples. Thank of course, you, you can have your apples. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to make an apple crumble milkshake. All right. um, and this is very quick and easy for the, for the users to, to do at home. I mean, kids love milkshakes, and it's a way of getting fruit into their stomachs. Yeah. All right, so this is, you put in your apples into to, into the blender. If you don't have a blender at home, you know, you can use a stick blender if you've got one of those stair blenders. Um, yeah. Or, you know, you, you can chop it really small, but you, you definitely do need some type of um, a blender or food processor. That's I'm it. putting in some banana because the banana and the apple go as well. It's a little bit of a twisted apple crumble. Okay. So a little bit of banana, and then we're going to put a little bit of brown sugar, some honey. All right. Um, and then we're going to put in, obviously, our spices. So what do you find in apple crumble? You find your cinnamon, your mixed spice and things like that. That's so you're going it. to put that in. And then, obviously, you want to put in your ice cream. You can use frozen yogurt if you want to, but I'm using a good old vanilla ice cream because that's my favourite. Which you cannot go wrong with, which is fantastic. Yes. And All then right. we're just going to close it. 
and we're going to blitz it. Now... Hey, there we go. Wait for that guy to if come you, If you find that your ice cream is still quite hard and there's a lot of mixture in there to blend, yes. you can add in a little bit of milk. All right. Um, just to thin it out a little bit, otherwise this is going to be a nice decadent double thick milkshake and you, you're going to have to... Um, eat it with a spoon. Eat it with a spoon. That's fine. That's fine. Right. <laughs> Here we go. The milk has just made a, a big difference. But it's fine. Yeah, so you feel it out. There we go. All right. And then you, then you would just fold in your bread, your shortbread. Yeah. So you know shortbread um, biscuits? That's you it. You just crumb it a little bit and you add it in and that makes the apple crumble. Um, and Easy. You use a nice, big, thick, wide um, yeah. straw, and that's it. I love it. Like, I tell oh. you what, we're going to finish these guys off. If you want to know how to get your hands on the recipe, it's with the keyword coup to 33728. We'll send you everything you need to know for our lovely sweet raviolis and also our apple crumble milkshake. But if you want to see those steps once again, here we go. For the ravioli, simmer together the brown sugar, white sugar, lemon juice, spice, and coup apples. Mix in the mascarpone and mint. Allow to cool. Egg wash the wonton wrappers, then spoon the mixture onto them. Top with another wrapper. Fry until golden. Drain on paper towel. For the milkshake, blend together the apples, banana, spices, sugar, honey and ice cream. Fold in the biscuits. Serve garnished with whipped cream and dusting of cinnamon. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it, a feast with apples. SMS that keyword once again, KU to 33728, and we'll send you everything you need to know for this ultimate apple dessert. Moira, <laughs> this looks delicious. Let's finish it off. All right, so we're going to just put some caramel sauce over, or you can use butterscotch. Okay. You just drizzle it over, liberally. Okay. And then oh, if you want to just put the cinnamon sugar over it just to, to finish it off, and we just let it go. Also, down. extra niceness. Yeah. Or you can Look have sauce while you dip it into the sauce. Why the not? And then our milkshake, we um, obviously finished. We're going to put some whipped cream on top. Our apple crumble milkshake. Yeah, so your apple crumble served and with whipped cream a and a dusting of cinnamon. And that's Look at it. That. it See, delicious. I, didn't, I, I called it. I said it's the ultimate dessert, and I really believe it is. It looks delicious. This is a two, two desserts in one. Two desserts in one. Mains <laughs> and desserts, whatever you want. You know that keyword is ku, SMS that, to 33728. Moira, thank you so much. Uh, for satisfying my sweet tooth this morning. I can't wait to dig into this one. But we want to know, what are some of your favorite apple recipes? Send your recipes to food at expressoshow.com. Help us keep the doctor away with your fabulous recipes as well. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.